Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about FLIR and night vision optics with the smoke grenade combo. And we'll also be mastering the Ace 53 SV DMR while we're at it. Now I have a little bit of a pet peeve of running with weapons that use FLIR optics or night vision optics, generally speaking. I think they give kind of a unfair advantage, something that uh, I don't like to see in my games. And I also kind of think it gives players a bit of tunnel vision too. You, you look down these optics and it just sort of turns everything to black and white, quite literally in this case, where it's like everything in black is something you don't have to worry about and everything in white is a threat. It bypasses all visual cover, so if somebody's blended in perfectly with some bushes or a tree or they're peeking out of a very small window in some house because they found a very nice hiding spot for them, this optic doesn't care. It just turns the entire building or the entire jungle to black and turns anything that is visible on your body to pure white, making you very easy to spot, uh, regardless of how well you've concealed yourself. So visual camo has no meaning against these optics. In addition to that, they See through smoke grenades. So a very popular combination is to run with a FLIR optic on your weapon and run with smoke grenades instead of frag grenades or whatever other grenade you're thinking about running with. And this will allow you to create visual cover where you like and then you can look through your FLIR optic and see through it perfectly. This can be especially effective on choke pointy maps, uh, rush game modes, or uh, some of the more infantry intensive urban maps like Metro or Operation Lockers or something like that where it's very choke pointy, very very infantry intensive, gives you a pretty big unfair advantage. And one theme that I'm seeing just pop up all over the place now, it's pretty much unavoidable if you're playing a, a very infantry intensive map, is this combination. People will throw a FLIR optic on a machine gun, start throwing down tons of smoke grenades, throw out an ammo box, and just keep the smoke grenades coming, creating a never ending wall of visual cover with those smokes. And then basically players are trying to counter it with flares. Uh, so it's sort of a FLIR optic versus flares versus people who don't have any of that. And it turns into this weird game, something that I frankly don't like to play that much and something that I think is a pretty bad representation of what Battlefield is all about and what a good first person shooter can be about. Now at one point in time Battlefield had smoke grenades and they are used simply as visual cover. You would throw down some smoke or shoot smoke out of a smoke grenade launcher in bad company to set up that visual cover and try and run to your next next objective or try and make it into a house for some cover. Just slowly move up the battlefield using smoke grenades tactically. It was fun, it worked effectively, you could even shoot somebody with a smoke grenade from a smoke grenade launcher and get a one-shot kill as an insult and deploy your smoke at the same time. So you had some cool little combinations and tricks with it. No longer do I feel safe using smoke as visual cover in Battlefield 4. Rarely does it actually work because there are so many people using those FLIR optics and night vision optics now that you can pretty much expect somebody to be able to see through that cover and be able to shoot you as you're trying to make your way. Now Battlefield has often taken a rock, paper, scissors balancing mentality to the way that they design their game and it's been more prevalent in Battlefield 4 than just about any other previous title and they've done this now more so with guns and gadgets and gear than they ever have before. Before it really focused a lot on vehicle balance and stuff like that but now we've got counters to everything so the counter to the smoke grenade by being able to move up through cover and sort of advance on your enemy is the flare optic. So the flare optics now in the game you can see through those smoke grenades and and it allows you a distinct advantage over players using smoke grenades. Well, how do you counter the flare optic? Well, you can throw down flares. You can also equip a laser pointer, which will shine right into the flare optic and white out the enemy team's screen. Now, the only problem I have with flares is that not enough people run them, and they're not as effective as most people would like to think. I get plenty of kills shooting people through flares and past flares, and uh, they also don't counter 3D spotting very well. So there are definitely some limitations to flares. Also, generally speaking, when you throw down a flare, it's a good beacon point to let people know that, hey, somebody's probably going to be standing by this flare, so maybe shoot in this general direction. See if you get any hit markers. And the problem with running something that's a counter to a counter of a counter is that your rate of return with your gadgets and gears becomes less and less. If you just run with a standard M67 frag grenade that works on literally any infantry out there. If you work with smoke grenades, well that's going to conceal your position to I would say 70% of the team except for the other 30% using the FLIR optics. 
And if you run with a flare, then you're going to counter flare optics to 30% of the enemy team. So you're kind of going down and down and down with the people that you can affect with your grenade slot gadget. So it becomes hard to advocate the use of a flare because, I mean, should I take a grenade that can literally kill any enemy infantry on the enemy team? Or should I take a flare that has the chance to potentially blind a player using a flare optic if I use it absolutely perfectly? It's a very rare chance that I'm gonna get a good use out of, flare, of, a, out of a flare that's actually gonna keep me alive and win me a firefight versus using an actual grenade of any type, really. Now, of course, Battlefield 4 is such a massive game that smoke optics and the flare sight combination is really a small fraction of the game in general. I have been seeing it a lot recently, though, so it's become somewhat of an epidemic, just like shotguns on consoles right now are all over the place and have become somewhat overpowered. But the main reason I'm talking about this now is that when I was using this combination and playing this way, not only did it feel really dirty and like a just a hugely cheap tactic to use, but anyone who wasn't running with flares or a flare optic couldn't really counter what I was doing. And sure, I did run into a few people also using flare optics and they would kill me through my own smoke grenades on occasion, but everybody else was just fair game. It was cheap, it was unfair, I felt dirty doing it, and it truly is the implementation of a pure rock, paper, scissors mentality into the gameplay. You know how when you're running through a conquest map every now and then you're playing, say, the assault class and you see a tank or APC and you literally have nothing to kill it with? Well, it's kind of like implementing that mentality into an infantry firefight, saying, hey, there's a guy somewhere in this giant cloud of smoke he can see you, but you can't see him. Now fight. Obviously, the guy with the flare optic is going to win that firefight, at least 90% of the time, 99% of the time. So call me old-fashioned, call me whatever you want, but I like my shooters with a bit of skill, a bit of honor in them, a bit of a fair fight regardless of what kind of setup you have uh, running into other infantry. Yeah, sure, maybe some people got good long-range guns, maybe some people got good short-range guns, but nobody should have a setup that allows you to completely counter somebody else's setup. Anyway, that's my two cents on this situation. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the flare optic and smoke grenade combo. Are you a fan of it? Do you like it? Do you want to see more of it? Or would you like to see it perhaps reduced in its effectiveness? As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing out.